Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we will be going over 15 facts about the fall of ancient Rome. But before we start make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so that you're notified when we next upload. And without further ado let's jump right into it. Number 1. Economic Instability The Roman economy was plagued by several issues that weakened its foundation. Heavy taxation to support the empire's vast military and infrastructure burdened citizens, leading to widespread poverty and resentment. The economy also relied heavily on slave labor, which stunted technological innovation and industrial growth. As the empire expanded, managing and collecting taxes became increasingly difficult. Additionally, the empire faced severe inflation due to the devaluation of its currency, as emperors minted more coins with less silver content to fund their expenses, which further eroded economic stability. Number 2. Overexpansion At its height, the Roman Empire spanned three continents, covering vast territories in Europe, North Africa, and the Middle East. This massive expansion overstretched the empire's resources, making it difficult to effectively govern, defend, and communicate across such large distances. The logistical challenges of managing such a large area included maintaining the vast road networks, supplying distant armies, and enforcing Roman law and culture in far-flung provinces. The sheer size of the empire eventually made it vulnerable to external attacks and internal rebellion. Number 3. Military Decline The Roman military, once the backbone of the empire, began to decline in effectiveness over time. The legions, which were once composed of well-trained Roman citizens, increasingly relied on mercenaries and foreign soldiers who had little loyalty to Rome. These mercenaries were often less disciplined and more interested in personal gain than in the defense of the empire. Additionally, internal power struggles and corruption within the military leadership led to weakened strategic decision-making. As the empire faced more frequent and intense threats from barbarian tribes, its military was often unable to respond effectively. Number 4. Barbarian Invasions The Roman Empire faced continuous pressure from various barbarian groups, including the Visigoths, Vandals, Ostrogoths, and Huns. These tribes were initially pushed westward by other migrating peoples and sought refuge or conquest within Roman territories. The Visigoths, for instance, sacked Rome in 410 CE under their leader Alaric, an event that shocked the Roman world. The Vandals, led by King Genseric, invaded North Africa and later sacked Rome in 455 CE. These invasions were not just military incursions but also migrations, with entire communities seeking new lands which further destabilized Roman control. Number 5. Internal Corruption Corruption became rampant within the Roman government, as officials often sought personal gain over public service. Bribery, embezzlement, and favoritism were common, undermining the effectiveness of the administration. The Senate, once a powerful and respected institution, became largely ceremonial as power concentrated in the hands of emperors and their inner circles. This corruption eroded public trust and led to widespread disillusionment among Roman citizens, weakening the social and political fabric of the empire. Number 6. Civil Wars The Roman Empire was frequently torn apart by civil wars, particularly over issues of succession. When an emperor died or was overthrown, multiple claimants often emerged, each backed by different factions within the military and government. These internal conflicts drained the empire's resources and manpower, as legions were diverted from defending the borders to fighting each other. The repeated power struggles also led to political instability, making it difficult to address the external threats and internal problems facing the empire. Number 7. Division of the Empire In 285 CE, Emperor Diocletian decided to divide the Roman Empire into two parts, the Western Roman Empire and the Eastern Roman Empire, each with its own ruler. This division was intended to make the empire more manageable by sharing the burden of governance. However, it also weakened the Western Empire, as the wealthier and more stable Eastern Empire, later known as the Byzantine Empire, became increasingly independent and less concerned with the affairs of the West. 
This division contributed to the decline of the Western Empire, which lacked the resources and stability of its Eastern counterpart. Number 8. Loss of Traditional Values As Rome expanded and evolved, many of its traditional values and civic virtues eroded. The early Roman Republic was built on ideals such as discipline, duty, and loyalty to the state. However, as the empire grew wealthier and more cosmopolitan, these values were increasingly replaced by decadence, luxury, and self-interest. The gap between the rich and poor widened, and the sense of collective identity that had once unified Romans began to fade. This moral and cultural decline weakened the social cohesion of the empire, making it more vulnerable to external and internal threats. Number 9. Rise of Christianity The rise of Christianity had a profound impact on the Roman Empire. Initially, Christians were persecuted for their refusal to worship Roman gods and the emperor. However, the religion continued to spread, and in 313 CE, Emperor Constantine legalized Christianity with the Edict of Milan. By the end of the 4th century, Christianity had become the empire's official religion under Emperor Theodosius I. This shift in religious focus led to changes in the Roman power structure, as the church gained increasing influence over state affairs. The focus on the afterlife and spiritual matters sometimes came at the expense of civic duties and loyalty to the empire. Number 10. Plague and Famine The Roman Empire suffered from several outbreaks of plague, including the Plague of Cyprian in the 3rd century CE and the Plague of Justinian in the 6th century CE. These epidemics killed large portions of the population, leading to labor shortages, economic decline, and weakened military defenses. Famine, often caused by poor harvests or disruptions in trade, further exacerbated the empire's problems. With fewer people to work the land, produce goods, or serve in the military, the empire struggled to maintain its infrastructure and defend its borders. Number 11. Economic Inequality The Roman Empire experienced a growing divide between the rich and the poor. The wealthy elite amassed vast fortunes and lived in luxury, while the lower classes faced increasing poverty and desperation. Land ownership became concentrated in the hands of a few, leading to the decline of the small farmer and the rise of large estates, latifundia, worked by slaves. This economic inequality led to social unrest, including riots and revolts, as the disenfranchised sought to improve their conditions. The economic imbalance also weakened the empire's ability to generate revenue and support its military. Number 12. Weak Leadership the Roman Empire suffered from a series of weak and ineffective leaders, particularly in its later years. Many emperors were more interested in personal power and luxury than in the welfare of the empire. Some emperors were installed and deposed in quick succession by the military or by palace conspiracies, leading to a lack of continuity and coherent policy. This weak leadership left the empire vulnerable to external threats and internal decay as critical issues went unaddressed or were poorly managed. Number 13. Sack of Rome The sack of Rome by the Visigoths in 410 CE was a major psychological and symbolic blow to the Roman Empire. Although Rome was no longer the capital, having been replaced by Ravenna, it remained the spiritual and cultural heart of the empire. The sack, led by the Visigoth King Alaric, marked the first time in nearly 800 years that Rome had fallen to a foreign enemy. This event shocked the Roman world and signaled the beginning of the end for the Western Roman Empire. Number 14. Fall of the Western Empire The Western Roman Empire officially fell in 476 CE when the last Roman emperor, Romulus Augustulus, was deposed by the Germanic chieftain Odoacer. This event is often cited as the end of ancient Rome and the beginning of the Middle Ages in Europe. Odoacer declared himself king of Italy, marking the end of Roman rule in the West. While the Eastern Roman Empire, Byzantine Empire, continued to thrive, the fall of the Western Empire marked the collapse of centralized Roman authority in Europe. Number 15. Survival of the Eastern Empire Although the Western Roman Empire fell in 476 CE, the Eastern Roman Empire, known as the Byzantine Empire, continued for nearly another thousand years. 
centered in Constantinople, modern-day Istanbul, the Byzantine Empire preserved much of Roman law, culture, and administrative systems. It remained a powerful and influential state in the eastern Mediterranean until its fall to the Ottoman Turks in 1453. The survival of the Eastern Empire ensured that many aspects of Roman civilization were passed down to later European cultures. And that's it for today. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you're notified when we next upload. See you next time.